Welcome to Explosive Mechanics exercise demonstrations. Today, we're gonna to talk more about the squat ratios, but this past week, people tagged me, I got DMs, people emailed me, and showed me what they were squatting relative to their body weight at a 0.6. You had some people squatting 1.8, you had some people squatting 2.0, you had people squatting 1.6, and trying to get these 40s and their correlations to match up. Well, now on some of the boxes, they're not designed or not like my boxes the biggest thing is that's why i repeated myself so many times in the last video is to make sure that that box is 12 inches with about a six inch blue foam pad now we have the older model elite fitness blue boxes so they're a little bit softer than the new ones and so later on i'll do a video whether that more stiff of a pad helps the number a little bit but also i saw people using belts here at explosive mechanics None of our athletes use belts. The, the little kids, the older guys, they'll come in, no belts allowed in this gym. You need to learn how to use your stomach. You need to learn how to brace. If you're playing sports, particular football, if you hit someone, your stomach and your midsection needs to be strong. It needs to be able to handle a force. It needs to absorb force. It needs to produce more force for you. So the stronger your stomach is, the better off you'll be. And a way to get a stronger stomach is to not use a belt. So what we're gonna do is, I don't know what's gonna happen. You just saw Malachi, he squatted two reps at 0.5 meters per second. Okay, you got 365, 0.5 meters per second. I did bring a belt out, because now I want to see, does a belt improve these numbers right here? So Malachi, would squat two more reps, see what happens. Six, four. Yep. Oh. Six, three. All right. So six, four, six, three. So the first set was a five, four and a five, five. Now we got a six, four and a six, three. Almost a temp difference in the load. Okay. So now if we manipulate the box to a higher standard, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take the red pad and put it up under the blue pad with the belt because now if you're not squatting at the right 12 inches so now we have uh, 14 inches plus our blue pad and so i like to repeat myself because i say this stuff and people still do not get it uh, and so we run experiments here all the time and this is something like what i would do like i've done the 40 yard dash experiments if you want to look back at that and so what i'm trying to do if you're trying to match and find and get these ratios to work for your athletes we need to make sure that everything's the same. And now look, you can be 5'8 to 6'2, even 6'3, we still squat off. And someone said, Jared, uh, are you squatting the parallel? I don't care about that. The only thing I care about is something that's consistent. Am I gonna get, once I get, if I move that box up like this, it's gonna mess his ratios up. He may be squatting more weight. And some people are concerned about how much they're squatting. Yeah, it does matter, but if so, like if you got someone that's squatting 550, 600 pounds, but it's not correlating, it's not helping our run speed, what's the point in doing that? So I would rather squat the most weight at a certain height that I can. If you're squatting 385 and you're moving in a six versus moving 405 or 445 at a six off of a higher box, if you're moving it off a higher box at that speed, it's not gonna transfer over. So what I have found with many, many athletes over the last, oh, I've been manipulating a Tendo unit for about six, seven years. And so I sit there, I watch their numbers and Malachi can attest, I can call your speed numbers most of the time without even looking at the Tendo unit. And so I like to sit there, I like to watch people, I like to learn, I like to learn speeds, I like to see what this is. I like to try to call the numbers and then say, Jared, how do you do that? I like to watch, I'm in here involved with my athletes. So before I talk too much, Malachi, let's watch this 365. Now we increased our box height. 
It may go to an eight. We may be at a seven. Who knows where it's going to be. Seven one, another tent. Just go increase the height of the box. Up. Six seven. Almost cheated that last rep a little bit much. I don't like it as off the neck, but we are trying to move the bar quick. But I like to try to keep it still and silent. So as you see, he went from three sixty five with a blue pad and a box point five range. We added the belt with uh, the blue pad and went to a six. Then we added a belt, we kept the belt and we added a box height to a little bit higher, 0.7. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go uh, a four set. So we're, we're gonna go back down, or a third set. We're gonna go back down with no belt and just a blue pad to see if we're in the fives, just see if we're consistent. So, and Malachi is one of the kids where when he runs the 40 yard dash, his ratio is perfect. It matches up what, what he squats at this box site. People don't like it because it's harder, but I don't care. I want it to be hard. I need it. I need to figure out what, if you're squatting a 0.65 and you're not running a 4.8 40 yard dash, we need to figure out what the limiting factor is. So if you squat two times your body weight and you're not running a 4.5 or 4.4 complete laser 40 yard dash, squatting more at that point is not the answer. Something else is limiting you to reaching those optimal running speeds. For, I would say, 99% of my kids, this ratio matches up. I'm starting to experiment with my female population to see where their ratios are. But if, if we're not hitting these numbers, I can't figure out what the limiting factor is. And so by me eliminating different variables, and I can put my finger on what is limiting that person, if they're squatting 1.8 times their body weight, they should be running a 4.6 40 yard dash. And if they're not, what's holding that person back? From, we've got the force production. We can produce the force in the ground. And we don't work on our running speed like you heard in the last videos at all. We don't work on our running form. We squat, we jump, then we use our accessory exercises to help build these two things. Because if I can build these two things without running at all, without practicing, without even showing them how to start, we can go over there and we can run a faster 40 yard dash. Malachi here is going from a 5'5 five, five 40 yard dash to a 4.9 40 yard dash at around 245 pound body weight. So it don't matter, like I said, some of the other videos, go back and watch them. It don't matter what your body weight is because it matters what times your body weight at the 12 inch box equals that speed. All right, Malachi, before you get too tired, let's see what we got. In the fives okay so we started from the ground up added a belt got faster kept the belt added a, uh increased the box height got faster we took all that away took the belt away took the height away came back down and we're still in our 0.5 range so i hope this video helps malachi thanks for helping me with this but if y'all have questions please again email me info at explosive mechanics Follow me on Twitter at Explosive MEC, but the best way to reach me is through email. I do get messages uh, through Instagram at Explosive Mechanics, uh, but sometimes those are kind of filtered and flipped around and I don't have the notifications popped up so I can sit there and just answer questions all day long. I'll just look at it occasionally. So anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And thanks, Malachi.